And when this is taking place, the mother who's got a child, she on that day will remember that she had a child. Why? Because the sound of the horn. The sound of the horn is so terrifying that you will see mankind will be in a drunken state, but in reality, they won't be drunk. The hadith of Abu Huraira comes to mind. He said that shaitan and his army will begin to run and they will begin to hide. They will begin to run and they will begin to hide. The Quran says on that day, there is no refuge. He will look above the people and what will they see? They will see the sky will look like the black, black filth of oil. It will crack piece by piece. The earth beneath them, it will crack piece by piece. The oceans will be on fire on that day and they will explode from their places. Allahu Akbar, picture this in your mind that the oceans, they will be on fire and they will explode from their places. The stars will lose their shine and they will come crashing down and there'll be darkness everywhere. And when there is darkness everywhere, nothing will remain. Every single thing in the universe will come to an end. The hadith of Abu Huraira says that the angel of death, it will say to Allah, Oh Allah, all those are in the heaven and all those are in the dunya, they have come to an end except for those who you wish to remain alive. Oh Allah, Allah will say, who remains? And the angel will say, Oh Allah, Jibrail remains, Mikael remains, Israfil remains, and the angels who are carrying your throne, they remain. Allah the Almighty will say, Let death come to Jibrail, let death come to Mikael, let death come to Israfil, and let death come to all those angels who are carrying my throne. Then Allah will say, Who remains? Yeah, Allah knows who remains. Allah will say to the angel of death, who remains? And the angel will say, Oh Allah, I remain, you remain, no one else remains. Yeah, then Allah will say, I created you for a purpose. You have fulfilled your purpose. You also die and he will die. And then Allah the Almighty, he will roll up all the heavens in his hands. He will roll up all the worlds in his hands. And Allah will raise his voice and Allah will say, I am the almighty Allah. I am the almighty Allah. For whom is the divine rule today? For whom is the power today? For whom is the kingdom today? I am the king of all kings. Where are your dictators? Where are your oppressors? No one will answer. Allah himself will answer. And Allah will say, power is for Allah. Might is for Allah, the one, the only, the irresistible. December 14th, 1503, a kafira, she gave birth to an antichrist. The hadith that could be found in Musnad of Imam Ahmad, the companion of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, that wallahi, by Allah, the day of judgment will not come until 30 antichrists will appear and the final one will be the one eyed liar. The hadith recorded by Imam al-Bukhari and Imam Muslim in the Sahih. Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu says that each one of them will claim to be a prophet of Allah. My brothers, many false prophets have come and gone. Whether it was Musaylama, whether it was Tulayha, whether it was Sajjah, whether it was Saf, where there was Abu Mansur, where there was Rashid Khalifa, where there was Muhammad ibn Sa'id, where there it was Ghulam Ahmad, 
whether it was Dr. York, whether it was Jasmine, whether it was Mahmoud Al Faraj, whether it was Mukhtar, and the one France gave birth to was none other than Nostradamus, born on the 14th of December 1503. And if you remember, he made the media big time. Why? Because his prediction that the world is going to end on a certain day. He made the media big time. He made the newspapers big time. He made the radio stations big time. He made the magazines big time. Everyone around the world who was interested in Nostradamus started to believe in his predictions and this very prediction that the world is going to end. Muslims and non-Muslims alike, they started to believe in this to such an extent that people start preparing for their death. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. You will see the very Muslims of that time when on that night where there was lightning, there was thunder and all of a sudden the Muslims, the Muslims, they started to believe that the hour has come. You had the millennium. Yet again, Muslims and non-Muslims alike, they started to believe that the hour is going to take place on the turn of the millennium to such an extent to those people who do not believe in Allah and his messenger these people they left their homes and they migrated to Palestine why because they wanted to witness as they believe that the turn of the millennium will bring with it Isa alayhi salam and the hour will take place. It rocked the imams of those weak Muslims and they started to believe in this. You have the new movie that's just come out this year, 2012. Yet again, Muslims and non-Muslims and especially the Muslims, they are on forums sending text messages. Why? They are warning other people that the hour will take place on 2012. In spite of the verses of the Quran, where Allah says, O oh Muhammad, they ask you regarding the hour. Tell them, its knowledge is only with the Almighty Allah. Yet again, Allah says, O oh Muhammad, they ask you regarding the hour. Tell them there is not the business of any prophet to tell them its timing. Why? Because no prophet knows when Qiyamah will take place. But in spite of these verses of the Quran, people have fallen in the trap. And they are believing that people are Nostradamus knows when the hour will take place. But bear in mind, he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the five things are only with the Almighty Allah and he will remain with the Almighty Allah. And out of the five is the hour. And bear in mind, no Nostradamus, no Dr. York, no Mukhtar, no Rashid Khalifa, no Musaylama, no Sajja, no Saf, no Abu Mansur knows when the hour will take place. Why? Because this knowledge is only with the Almighty Allah. But one